Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So recently this question actually asked in one of my uh, groups or in one of interview, I was asked, suppose you all, your all the scripts were executing fine till yesterday, but today Chrome browser got updated and your script is getting fail. How to resolve this issue? Actually, I'll divide this question into two parts from my side that first that suddenly you go to the office and then you start executing today and then till yesterday it was working fine and then your script is not working that is the first question and the second thing is that suddenly your chrome browser got updated and your script is start getting failed that is one of the reason but there are various reasons it could be possible that your script is not working today and they really want to ask what could be the reason it's a very nice interview question and very practical question and if you have worked then only you can give the answer for this question so how will you give the answer for that so there are many reasons. The first reason is that it's not about only the browser got upgraded. Maybe the browser is absolutely working fine. The browser is getting launched properly. Could be various reasons. Maybe application got crashed. Maybe application flow got changed. Maybe uh, your test data issue. The Maybe test data got deleted or updated or somebody has changed the test data. Or maybe some hard-coded test data that you are using it, which is like already available in the in the database and then it's not accepting that or maybe someone has changed the database schema or some api changes or some backend changes suddenly which is not getting reflected on the ui when, when let's say for example of our user creation is not working so when you submit the user form user registration form it's not working because some uh, changes happened in the backend so there could be various reasons behind that other than that maybe your uh, a server is uh, down maybe your database is down or maybe your grid is not working your infrastructure is not working properly and it's down or maybe uh, too much latency or network issues are available for your application and a lot of uh, synchronization issues that you are getting suddenly so that could also be a reason behind that your scripts are getting failed today other than that maybe the script issue maybe the locator issue which is like absolutely um, uh, fine because uh, uh, yesterday your xpath was fine but today the xpath got is not working because of you are using absolute xpath or maybe that application flow or the element properties got changed over there that also could be one of the issues another most important thing is that maybe uh, there is actual bug in the application and then and then your application and your test cases are getting failed and your application got uh, having some bug and then in that case obviously your script will be failed in that case right so that is the these are the main reasons behind that another thing is that you can add some extra flavor maybe because of some check-in and some PR got approved and then your wrong code got merged to the master branch in your automation repository and that could uh, making the impact on the execution today that maybe some because of wrong code or wrong merge that your test cases are getting failed over there. So that could also be a reason behind that. So you have to give all the different reasons over here. That's very important to guys. Uh, they really want to know. They will be keep asking, okay, what could be the reason? What Tell me some more reasons. What are different reasons? Let's see the browser is working fine. Let's see application is working fine. Then it's a problem with your script. Then XPath is also fine. Then maybe uh, some function got updated by someone, maybe because of wrong merge or something, or maybe a test data issue. Your script is fine, but the problem with the data, right? So these are the examples you have to uh, give. Now let's go to the second question. Then browser, let's see Chrome browser got updated and your scripts are getting failed. How to resolve this issue? See, they just, most of the people, they give the answer. Okay, let's use WebDriver Manager. What if your uh, interviewer is not aware of what is WebDriver Manager? Because ultimately the concept is what? The binary file, the server has to be executed in the background. The server should be started from the Chrome driver executable binary file. Then only your a script can interact with the browser then only selenium can send all the api requests to the server and server will perform something on the browser like that so maybe the server could not get started maybe that port is busy maybe that uh, the server got got crashed or maybe that binary file is uh, corrupted or or maybe uh, uh, not up to date you have to download the latest version of the chrome driver.exe file you have downloaded that one but uh, that is not the backward compatibility uh, compatible with the older version of the browsers maybe your browser got upgraded but uh, that uh, respective uh, binary file is not available for that so it's not about only limited answer that guys you have to give you have to give different varieties of reasons what could be the issue behind that right maybe your path got updated or maybe your executable file path is not available over there for example let's see whenever you set the property like that and then let's see this path got a uh, change somebody has changed the path or maybe that dot uh, exe file is not available over there so that could be also reason right behind that so you have to give all the reasons and how will you fix that problem 
you have to fix the problem make sure that okay your chrome driver.exe file that you are using it which is the latest that you are using and it should be compatible with your the browser that whatever the chrome browser or firefox browser that you are using it in terms of uh, geeko driver or chrome driver or any edge driver or internet explorer driver respective that you are using it so that is like a very important thing to know so this is the question guys uh, that's very important question and these are the various various reasons that you can give guys okay so please always think out of the box give the proper answer give more and more practical reasons behind that don't be limit yourself to the specific answer only that okay yeah or don't say okay i'm not very much sure about it because we never face a uh, certain issues like that so you should be ready for these questions and that's a very good question so this is the answer for my side i would always prefer and listen to these kind of answers from the candidate also if i'm taking an interview like that thank you so much that's just a small video for this if you have any specific questions about selenium or automation or any other stuff that how to give the answer for a specific question feel free to write in the comment section definitely i'll try to take your question and then we'll prepare a separate video on that thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all